elders have gathered and your eternal advocate Yeshua stands before I, the judge of all in my court, that my foundation is righteousness and justice. Therefore, my verdict, which has been your decree, which has been your intercession, has now come to my throne. But I have sent my verdict into the earth. Therefore, listen closely. Listen closely, says the Lord. This is the time of a great reset. This is the time of a great reversals. And this is a time that I, the Lord God, who sets up kings and takes them down. And I shall take them down, says the living God. That the earth shall stand and know that Yahweh is among them. I will bring divine surprises. I will cause there to be a satisfaction not only in my courtroom, but I will cause there to be a satisfaction that shall fill the earth at this time. And for some, they will be disappointed. But God says, I am not listening to those who have mocked the United States. I am not listening to those who seek the demise of Israel. I am listening to those at this time who have lifted up their voice to me and have cried out. And there is one there is one among you that has prayed that has cried out to me in simplicity in the innocence of their heart and i have listened to this one that i speak of and i have heard their prayer in the earth and they have prayed and they have even knelt before me and they have draped themselves in the flag of you you the united states this i speak for they have said this one god how can i bring the united states closer to you again and i speak of donald trump says the living god he has prayed he has spoke to me yet men have despised him and they have looked to indict him and some who bear my name say we cannot choose him The Spirit of God says, because you have not been walking with him, you have not heard his prayers, and you have not known his heart. But I, the Lord God, knows his heart, and I have anointed him at this time. So God says, you watch what I do to shake the earth. You watch what I do to scatter the enemy, and I will cause there to be something new that shall arise at this time. For I take away the old, that I may establish the new. Therefore, I will cause your house called white to be known as a lighthouse and it shall shine out throughout the United States it'll shine out throughout the earth and you will see that I have put my hand upon this country and I am honoring the covenants of ancient times and of the fathers who knelt before me and covenanted themselves to their God therefore they shall gather not only into the very place of the lighthouse the white house this new that i speak but they shall pray in congress and they shall pray in the senate and then god says i will bring you justices as the first for this is my promise for i will sift and i will shift your court that you call supreme and there shall come a great shaking and an exposure to your court yes i speak of the highest court of your land For they, they, they must be brought into my justice, says the Lord. For some think that they can rule according to wickedness. Some think they can rule by the way of their own hearts. And some think that they can rule by secret handshakes behind closed doors. But this is not the time of closed doors and handshakes of evil and corruption. But this is the time that all things must be exposed. For I have opened a door now in the earth. And this that I've opened shall expose and in no way clear the guilty says a living God therefore pay attention there shall come a loud noise and it will fill this earth and it shall be as in the times when there came a sound from heaven as a rushing mighty wind and it will hit the earth I speak of my glory 
I speak of the power that many have prayed, have fasted, have wept, repented. And now my hand moves to open it in a way that you have only hoped for. But it shall fill the earth with unusual manifestations, notable miracles. And there will be a sweeping by my spirit that shall come. And they shall surely say when this sound comes in the earth, is this an explosion? Is this the sound of a missile? Is this but a sound of war beats? Or is it the sound of thunder? It is the sound of my hand that is open now in an unusual way to bring justice, to establish righteousness. But because you have prayed, my right hand shall get you the victory. You will see it. And you will see that mercy shall triumph over judgment in this time. Now pay attention. For there is angels now that have been sent because of the decrees of those who have spoken in the earth. And they are standing in the earth, but they are standing over you, United States. And they are standing upon the very globe, the very soil of this land, United States. And they have placed their feet upon the water and the water systems. They have placed their hands high into the atmosphere against the prince of the power of the air. Therefore, you must pray now that they will be activated to release a restraint, a divine preservation that shall affect the airwaves for they seek to use communications cyber to attack you but God says the power of my spirit and of my host shall restrain that through the airwaves that they will have to even speak truth they'll have to report truth they'll have to show that there were lies that they perpetrated narratives that they were a part of for this shall break apart upon the very new screen says the Lord pray pray for they desire to bring civil unrest even desiring to bring you into war but I speak to you and I say to you that this is not the time of wars to end all things but this is a time to end a war that the spirits of darkness have fought that they should rule and reign at this time nay says the living God I have an army of my hosts and an army of my ecclesia and therefore I will show the earth for you have seen and you have tasted of what evil looks like but now you will taste and you will see victory after victory after victory after victory you will taste and you will see that I the Lord am good therefore pay attention pay attention pray pray not just for the peace of Jerusalem but pray 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 for a restraint of that their hands upon the waters for they seek to contaminate your waters to touch your very bread and your water but God says the hosts have come to bring about preservation that my word would be fulfilled at this time that is declared I have come to bless your bread and I have come to bless your waters God says let this stand as my decree in the earth pray for there are those who have surely said and they have mocked you and they have said God where are you they have mocked Israel and they have mocked those who have stood at this time but listen to me very carefully as they look for your demise as they look to destroy you Israel and United States what shall I do I shall arise again and again and again and again and again and again until the earth knows that Yahweh is among you says the Lord that Yahweh has come to bring about his power at this time oh God we stand in all of you we stand in all of you we stand in awe of you. Come on, just lift up your hands to him. 
We stand in awe of you, God. Let righteousness and justice be established. Shatter the teeth of the wicked. Close the mouth of the liars. Shatter the attempts of the enemy that has come to try to steal, kill, and destroy. Break the satanic movements and agendas that would seek to arise in this time. And by the power of the Holy Spirit and the host of heaven, God, go now, 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 be released over our waterways. Be released over our airwaves. Be released to bring a restraint against the forces of darkness who are saying, give us blood, give us blood, give us blood. But the Spirit of God says, give me my justice. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. Come on, lift up your voice. Yeah. Let the king arise and his enemies be scattered. Let the Lord arise with his justice in the earth. Let the Lord arise with his righteous hand. Oh, arise. Come on, come on, come on. The enemy must hit Come on, pray in the spirit. Your justice. Come on, prophesy. you to say with me say let God arise let God arise and let his enemies be scattered let God arise God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Now listen to me. Man, this is an awesome place. <laughs> I mean, you just step into it here. This is whew, this is every prophet's dream, man. <laughs> I just want to be a Christian in my heart. Oh, my God. We'd be a seated for just a minute before Pastor Dutch comes because I want to just share something with you that I think will precede something that he's going to do. God's not done. Man, this is so strong. How do you, how do you guys handle this atmosphere? It's like I, I just can't stop hearing heaven. <laughs> I'm hearing God just speaking so loud. This is incredible. All right, listen to me. I want to share something with you. And is there a camera where people are watching? Where are they watching? Okay, there, okay, whatever camera you are and you're watching me, I'm watching you. Listen to me. I want to share something with you. I want to set this up now, and then we're going to just kind of keep flowing, but listen to me. So I asked the Lord a question a while back, and I said to God, I said, God, I want you to share with me very quickly, Lord, as we come into 2024. Give me something simple for the people as we prepare for a new year. And this was right before the Jewish New Year in September. And the Spirit of God spoke to me. He said, you tell the people, Hank, to draw closer to the Lord. He said, let this be the time that you draw closer. People draw close to God. Seek his heart. Seek his face. You know, that's why the Bible says in Amos 3 that he doesn't do anything in the earth unless it reveals his secret. His secret. Notice it didn't say secret. Secret. It's his heart. And then he said this. He said, and bind the thief. And so it's changed the way that I've prayed. How many of you have ever prayed the Lord's Prayer? 
and you have declared, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. If I was to put a United States flag right in front of Putin's office in Russia and said, thy United States kingdom come, do you think that would go over well? No, but when you are declaring God's kingdom to come, you are declaring an imprecatory statement invoking the justice of God against every other kingdom. And so I asked the Lord a question. I said, God, tell me something, though. What can we say to the people? And the Lord said, changes in the air because you've prayed. Now, listen, two weeks ago, I said, okay, God, give me something that would be very simple for the people to know that changes in the air. And then last Sunday, I don't know if anybody watches our services or not, I just felt that God had spoken something humorous. You know, God's a very funny God. He really is. Amen. You know, he's a God of joy. He's a God of laughter. And I came out and I told the people, I said, I really feel like that that ground squirrel is not going to see its shadow. Because I believe that the deep state and the things that have been lurking in the shadow somehow is being judged by the power of God. And a light has come this time now. Because change is in the air. And I guess that squirrel didn't see it. And normally he does, right? Now you say, oh, Pastor Hank, come on. No, I'm just giving you a humoristic thing. But let me just share with you. I had two dreams that I want to share very quickly. I was out at, uh, Chi is it Cheyenne's? Cheon, I, okay, Cheon, if you're watching, I'm, I told you I'm still learning your name, but we were at a Flashpoint Live meeting there, and I was in my hotel room, and the Spirit of God came in so strong, I couldn't move in my room. And I said, Lord, I have to get ready for the meeting. Why are you coming in so strong like this? I literally could not move. I couldn't get up off the floor. And he said, I want you to experience this. I'm like, okay, because this is what I'm talking about. I said, what, do you, what is that? He said, the level of my presence that is coming. And I said, Lord, but why? Why is your presence coming this strong? He said, because when my glory comes, he said, why do you think I showed up in a pillar of cloud by day and fire by night? Because I wanted them to see with their own eyes, not just in the spirit, in their own eyes, what the presence of God looks like. And I wanted them also to tangibly feel it. But also the reason I showed up was because when I promised the pillar of cloud by day and fire by night, it was to establish preservation for a nation and to wipe out the enemy. This is where we're heading. All right. So immediately I went into a vision. And in the vision, I was standing there and I was decreeing things over the United States of America. And I mean, I never heard the words that were coming out of my mouth that even shocked me. You ever had that happen to you? You guys are prophetic. And, and as it was coming out of my mouth, I, all of a sudden I remember saying, and I decree the court of heaven and its verdict. And I felt somebody mocking me. And I turned around to see who it was. And it was Barack Obama. He was mocking me. And he was in a weird contorted position behind me. And I got up. I was standing in this vision. And I turned around. And I pointed to him. And I began to see what he had his hands on. And I could see the systems that were around him. And the evil that was using this man. And I began to decree the court of heaven against those systems and against the agendas of hell. And as soon as I did that, everything just began to break apart into, I mean, shattering pieces. Because you have to understand something. When Pastor Tim was prophesying, the court of heaven is very powerful. You know, when have they ever written about the prophets before? Now they all want to write about the prophets, right? But it's very dangerous because when God puts in an apostle's mouth or a prophet's mouth to, be, to declare or invoke the justice of God, or if a prophet brings, God is bringing someone to that prophet to bring them into the court of heaven. And remember David? Nathan had to come and bring him to the court of heaven because that means God's in no way going to clear the guilty. Second dream, last one before Pastor Dutch. And we can flow however, but I just want to share this with you. So I really 
you know, about a month ago, I was standing in this large uh, auditorium. I, I, I mean, it was the largest crowd that I think I ever had spoken to in my life in the dream. I don't know why it was so large, but it was. It was very big. And I was sitting, I was standing on the stage going, what am I doing here? You know, you ever felt that way before? And I was standing there, and then all of a sudden, the back doors opened. It was like the whole world could see. And this person they call Biden and some other things and some other people that were with him, they were ushering to the, them to the front, and it took a very long time to get up to the front. And they stood them right up before me. Now, I'm not calling out anybody. That's not the point. I'm just sharing a dream with you that has prophetic, uh, figurative-type meaning to it. And as they stood before me, God spoke, and he said, Now, declare the verdict from the court of heaven. And I remember in this dream, it just seemed like it was the longest dream that, that I've had in a long time. It just seemed like it never ended. And I kept decreeing and decreeing and decreeing this verdict that was coming from God. And it was shocking to me because, you know, I don't speak that way. You you know, when I went to school, they didn't have math. They didn't have social studies. They didn't have science. All they had was lunch, PE, and art. You know, so this was all new to me as the verdicts were coming out of my mouth. And all of a sudden, they grabbed them and they began to bring these people to justice. And a man walked out. He looked like a huge angel. And he walked up to me and he said, and I want you to hear me when I tell you this. Pastor Dutch, Pastor Tim, those of you that are watching, Prophet Clay, listen, and those of you in this room. He leaned over and he whispered in my ear and he said, come now, you are being summoned to meet with the king. And, you know, you would think that I would know who he's talking about. I said, you mean King Jesus? And he looked at me like, you're an idiot. (laughs) And, And I said to him, I said, you mean King? He said, yes. The king of all kings. He has summoned you to a side room. And then my insecurity kicked in, in the dream. And I said, why? He said, because he wants to reward you. Because you have stood for him and with him. And you have spoke what he said and you have told the truth. We are coming into a time of great justice and righteousness and heavenly reward. But we're also in a time that we cannot pray patty cake prayers. We've got to pray a certain level of prayer as Pastor Dutch comes. As past, or whoever, Pastor Tim comes. I'm not in charge. They are, Pastor Tim, uh, as they come. Because this is a time where we've got to shift how we pray. So that the squirreliness that we've seen over the last few years is not... There is a speed bump on the front. 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 front.